Good morning. This is Mark LaFay from the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report. This morning I'd like to talk about agronomic strategies to maximize rotational benefits from alfalfa to corn. Alfalfa is an important crop to the dairy industry in Stearns County for its feed value and was grown on approximately 50,000 acres in 2017. It also has many environmental benefits including increased soil organic matter, decreased soil erosion, decreased soil nitrate le leaching loss, rotation benefits, and providing wildlife and insect habitat. Alfalfa also usually requires no nitrogen fertilizer and few herbicide applications. I'd like to share some information that Jeff Coulter from the University of Minnesota Extension wrote in a recent Minnesota Crop Newsletter about the benefits to corn following alfalfa. Corn grown after alfalfa usually has increased yield, reduced nitrogen requirement from fertilizer or manure, and reduced pest pressure compared to when corn follows other crops. When possible, the decision about when to terminate alfalfa should be based on economics. A survey of 421 Minnesota growers in 2012 found that growers rarely rotate alfalfa according to a planned schedule and that most common reason and the most common reason for terminating alfalfa was the need for a place to apply manure. Half of the respondents selected this as the top reason for terminating alfalfa. Therefore, increased manure management options such as increased storage capacity and increased dispersion to other fields may promote longer alfalfa stands. The second most common reason for alfalfa termination was thinning alfalfa stands. When alfalfa is terminated, the N in alfalfa residue along with the increased soil N and other soil quality improvements that occur during alfalfa production typically supply large quantities of N to one or more years of subsequent, subsequent crops. This increased N supply often causes first year corn to require little or no N as fertilizer or manure. Manure is often applied to first year corn following alfalfa for several reasons including the need to replenish nutrients removed during the alfalfa production, insufficient manure storage capacity, inadequate land area for spreading manure in other crop rotations and or inability to distribute or sell the manure. However, if possible, avoid manure application for year, first year corn following alfalfa because additional N often does not increase corn yield and can cause N loss to the environment. Many fields with a manure history may have adequate or more than adequate soil test phosphorus and potash at the end of alfalfa stands, but be sure to soil test just in case. If manure is needed to replenish soil P or K at the end of the alfalfa stand, apply only the minimum rate based on a manure sample that's needed to supply the P and K requirements. So as I said earlier, alfalfa can eliminate or greatly reduce the N, the need for N, from fertilizer or manure during the next two years if corn is grown. This includes pure stands of alfalfa and alfalfa grass mixtures with at least 50% alfalfa in the stand. The frequency and level of yield response to N in first and second year corn following alfalfa are closely associated with soil texture, age of the alfalfa stand, alfalfa termination timing, and weather conditions. First year corn following alfalfa rarely responds to nitrogen. However, the crop will respond if grown on sandy soils, fine textured soils with wet early season conditions, or medium textured soils uh, when following very young alfalfa stands or spring terminated alfalfa. In field trials across Minnesota, yield of second year corn following alfalfa did not respond to N in about half of the fields. Suggested rates of N for first and second year corn following alfalfa have been recently updated by the U of M extension. In some cases, the optimal rate of N can vary greatly due to weather-related variability in soil and mineralization. 
In such cases, consider limiting the amount of N applied from fertilizer and manure before and near corn planting. You can also apply additional N to corn during the growing season if necessary, based on the weather or crop conditions. So in general, if you have a two or more year old stand, try to limit the N application to 40 pounds per acre for first year corn following alfalfa and 80 pounds per acre to second year corn following alfalfa. This is a change from the previous older recommendations that used alfalfa stand counts to determine alfalfa N credits. If you'd like more information about this topic, you can check the U of M extension website that has uh, some really good information on that or you can always give our office a call here at 320-251-7800 extension 3. And again this has been Mark Lafave from the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report and thanks for listening.